Next. They form what we call a wall of sharks during the day. They group one on top of the other over the entire depth of the water from the seabed some hundred feet deep up to the surface. But at night they migrate. The atoll of Fakarava, French Polynesia, were at the heart of the Pacific Ocean. Together with Gambessa Expedition's team, we are here to explore, study, and illustrate the wealth of this exceptional site. It all started in 2014. At that time, I had only one goal, to unravel the mystery of the reproduction of the grouper fish. Because only once a year, you get a huge population of groupers that in just a few minutes, gather at this spot to breed. And by studying this extraordinary phenomena, we became fascinated by another phenomena, a gathering of 700 gray sharks. And that's why we return every season. Today, we're going to dive together. What's up, guys? Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. All right, everyone ready? Yep, ready to go. Ready to go. Ready to dive? Uh, we have a new diver with us. There. Yeah, he's going to come dive with us. I don't know if he's any good, but uh, he looks motivated. Anyway, he looks motivated. That's the essential part. What do you want us to do? Okay, so uh, we're getting ready to move out along the channel. Uh, there's gonna be a boat that will be taking us out into the ocean. A lot of current out there. So the idea is to use the, the current to carry us. Um, carry us along, it's a long swim, about a mile. Uh, and we'll start our dive off in the ocean. There should be a lot of sharks. Uh, at that point, the threshold's gonna be about 115 feet, uh, and then the seabed will then drop down to 3,000 and 6,000 feet. Uh, that's where the abyss starts. And then we advance uh, along the channel, and here it is typically full of coral. And then very quickly, uh, not far from here, uh, we get to what we call the wall of sharks. It's, uh, it's a gathering of sharks that remain static. Uh, they don't move. They stay really calm in the water. Nothing like at night when they're swarming around and, you know, on the seabed and they're throwing themselves at anything and everything that moves. So yeah, I mean, that's it. If, if you guys are ready, uh, we'll dive together in a few moments uh, when I'm done preparing the equipment. In case of a hammerhead shark attack, I'm uh, I'm taking this. Whoa, with that thing? Oh yeah, you're safe. <laughs> I hope you each have one. We'll stay close to you. And if they approach, aim for the eyes. I'll leave it there. Okay. You saw them at the third wall, but they can be anyone. I hope you brought your knife as well. Yeah, it can be dangerous. Hammerhead sharks for the moment, but a magnificent school of snapper fish are here to welcome us. They're yellow colored with four delicate blue stripes. 
There are really a thousand things to discover along this channel, and we're amazed every time we dive. But this year, we're here for Grey Sharks. During the day, they rest. They keep their distance. But they are really fierce. You can't get near them. With little patience, and thanks to our rebreathers that don't produce bubbles, it keeps us quiet so we can blend into the background and get in close. To ensure breathing without moving, all the sharks have to do is face the current. They remain almost motionless. This is the moment when they rest. They form what we call a wall of sharks during the day. They group one on top of the other over the entire depth of the water, from the seabed some hundred feet deep up to the surface. But at night they migrate. They return to the seabed and prepare for the hunt.